The growing demand for air defense systems, particularly to counter lethal drone attacks, has been met by leading British weapons manufacturer Bay Systems, which has developed the Trident Mark II. In this video, we are going to talk about Bay Systems' new air defense system, the Trident Mark II, which has been revealed by Bay Systems. The new Trident Mark II is a self-propelled, remotely controlled 40mm anti-aircraft artillery gun that is extremely effective against a variety of aerial and ground targets. The Trident Mark II is a Bofors 40mm Mark IV naval gun that is equipped with a detection sensor and placed on a 6x6 truck platform. The weapon's high precision, firepower, and modularity make it ideal for protecting both military and civilian infrastructure. The Bofors Mark IV can also be mounted on the rear of an 8x8 high-mobility platform such as the Rheinmetall Man HX, which was chosen for the latest version of the Archer 155mm self-propelled artillery system to be adopted by the Swedish Army. The system has currently been tested on civilian trucks, most recently on the Scania G460 military truck. It can be used on most 6x6 or 8x8 vehicles, as well as the BVS-10 amphibious all-terrain armored vehicle. The Trident Mark II can counter a wide range of threats, such as drones, cruise missiles, aircraft, and armored vehicles. With an effective range of up to 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles, it has a rate of fire of 300 rounds per minute on the target. The rate of fire can be controlled to meet vehicle requirements, such as by modifying the maximum rate of fire to 200 rounds per minute to suit vehicle mobility. Each Trident Mark II will have its own all-weather, day-night acquisition sensors built around a development of the Chess Dynamics Hawkeye EO system and fire control system. For ease of operation, the Trident features an electric drive rather than a hydraulic drive, meaning the drive can be tweaked and its performance tuned to match integration with specific vehicles. So, with the sophistication and high mobility offered by this weapon, will the UK then acquire this unique air defense weapon to meet the needs of its army, which currently lacks air defense?